We're back again with another edition of Junk Food Wine Bearing. Last week we did the big three of burgers. Today, we're doing the big three of sides. Nuggies and chips with dipping sauce. Let's get snacking! Here we are. We're back. We did the burgers last week. Now we got back. the chips. We got the nuggets. The accessories to the burgers. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes superior to the burgers. Yeah. Sometimes the craving for these is better than you actually want for the burger itself. If you guys ever go to a fast food restaurant and just get a standalone burger, you always go on meals. I know. I, I, I definitely do the double up burger. If I'm going like Macca's double cheeseburger, like. What two no, two double, cheeseburgers? Two or cheeseburgers or a double cheeseburger. But what I sometimes yeah. do though is, particularly with Kentucky Fried Chicken, mm. I have a thing for their chips. Their They're chips so are good. fantastic. Sometimes I will actually just go into yeah. KFC and just buy chips. No burger. Mm. So I know where you're leaning with these three already. So. Well, I've got a soft spot. I'm a bit biased when it comes to it because yeah. I really like chicken salad. And they're all quite different. <laughs> they're all quite, it's not chicken salad. It's 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 the 13 herbs and spices, Spice mate. Salt. So go. it's salt, no. pepper, and MSG. Um, <laughs> allegedly. So all of these fries are really different as well. So you've got like your quote unquote thick cut Hungry Jack's chips. Yeah. You've got your classic French shoestring fries for, the, for Macca's. And then these are thick cut, but they're also, they're not crispy. Soup. They're a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. The absolute KFC right around. Before. Yeah, but that's what you want. You want it to be a bit greasy and like yeah. decadent, delicious. Shall we? Shall we give it a crack? I reckon we. And we've it. also got the same uh, sauces for each of them. We got sauces. Well, and and what are these? So so we've got aside from chips. So we got the each is nuggets. So this is the. I don't, is there a special name for the? Uh, I, don't, I think they're just all nuggets. They're just, there's nuggets, 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 and then uh, nuggets, McNuggets, yeah. and then nuggets. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna taste through all of these, and the the idea is what Noah. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out which one's the best. With like who's got the best nuggets, who's got the best fries, who's and the best nuggets. Uh, we're gonna pair wine to them. And it, do the do the do wines change across the brands? So we, what would be ideal is that these match up with the wines that the burger goes with. So you don't have totally. to get two different fucking wines with your burger meal. Exactly. Sure so I, I do wonder if there is, there's got to be a sommelier that works for Maccas. The mix -som. The mix -som. The mix -som. There is definitely. <laughs> there's a mix -som. <laughs> There must be. Do you remember all of like growing up, well, you weren't growing up, you're old, but growing up like the, the uh, like Bam. the characters that were associated with Maccas, you had like the big purple yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. What would the som look like in the cartoon for it? Would be like a oh, snow fresh stereotype. He knows the hamburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really need the Barolo with this. <laughs> it's all slide of hand. He pulls out a bottle of wine and steals the burgers at the same yeah. time. <laughs> same thing. Going on. You know it. All, all right, right, let's, let's get into in. it. Let's dig in. So this is hungry jacks. Mm. Now famously, the burgers are better at hungry jacks. Well, the chips certainly are really well seasoned. This is like the nuggets themselves remind me of like something you get when you're. A kid and your mum's just reheated a lazy meal, like on a Thursday fucking night or something. Yeah, and it's like, you know, it's like, oh, I can't be asked. These kids are driving me nuts. Have some chicken nuggets and shut up. Mm. That's what these chicken nuggets taste like. Remember, I have an appreciation for these. They're fine. The heavy red's not doing it for me. It's really interesting. There's a nostalgia factor mm -hmm. with these, and this was the same with the burger as well. Mm. Mm. I don't like the light white. It peaks the acidity too much. My last last week the. <sighs> The burger was and, and the light red was the match. And yeah, I'm not so too confident in this match. I'll be interested to know what you guys actually think. Chard I mean, I'm, boy. I'm, in, I'm in Chardonnay territory here. I was thinking possibly the the light lean white, mm. specifically because of the saltiness. Mm. I think it provides balance to this. So the light red with the nuggets is pretty good. I'm sticking on shardy. I'm saying light red for the full package. It works well enough with these, but it we works the really burger. well with the burger. Yep. Look, if you're just going, if you're just getting this, grab a Chardonnay. But if you're getting the full meal, go for your light so red. So we saying Still Hungry works. Jacks is light red territory. Yeah. yeah. More so than anything else. You know that, like, like we should yeah. stress test this. Yeah. So I think there's consensus. Consensus. Here. Uh, light red. Chardonnay is the best pairing for this, Hungry but Jacks. for Hungry Jacks, light red. Big light red. Light red. Sort of guys. Sweet. Yeah. We have the famous. Nuggets. McNuggets. I'm a McNugget guy. I could I could slug nugs. 
So we got Seriously? the famous, how awesome is the batter on these? The batter is yeah. pretty impressive. Because the other one's a crumb. There's a big difference between a batter and a crumb. Yeah. This is almost like you're at your local fish and chip shop and there's a real there's a real layer component to it going on. It's like a, it's like a jacket on the outside mm. of the potato as opposed that to a light delicious. sprinkling. There's such a particular flavor with these nuggets. Mm. It's just thing for any other nugget. Um, there's no doubt about it, Chardonnay. End it here. Mackers, Mac Big Mac meal, nuggets, cider chips, Chardonnay. Your best day oh, ever. No brainer. Particularly the batter. Mm -hmm. 100%. It's it's really oily, buttery. Yeah. yeah. Mm. End it here. The butter and the oak. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's mellow. It's a big warm hug. Yeah. You're sitting down and you're just macking out. It's fantastic. No deliberations. No. There's no nothing that could be heard. Anything else that could be. That is than this. so fascinating. That that hungry jacks being light red territory. Like this is actually. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> genuinely impressed in this. Like that, that it's a so, very legitimate match. You got your, you got your Beaujolais. You've got your Burgundy. Now what? Right. Now, what does the Colonel call for? Yeah. Look at the difference in the batter. Like this is—it's not the shape, and I'm sure it's all the same processed chicken. It's got to be. Yeah. But this is the only one with some seasoning on it. I think that looks integrated with. It's the got batter. eleven herbs and spices on it. KFC is taking a note out of Arnott's book with their shapes brand, which is they're putting flavour you can see on their nuggets. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These taste the best out of all of them, hands down. If you're KFC and you're losing to beef boys in your chicken nugget game. You've got to really look at your business structure. So I'm glad that they're the best because they deserve to be. They should be. Chicken. Now, it's, in, it's in the neck. Now, yeah. it's, now it's the fry. The, the floppy, greasy. Uh, for the oh. viewers at home, if you're ever at KFC, <laughs> When you're ordering chips, just make sure you order extra salt on the chips. True. It is the only way to eat them. I don't know if you do this as well, Mr. I like snacking on KFC chips, but it improves mm. them exponentially. And we didn't know. Oh. I know. There's missing it. Yeah. The good news is the light, refreshing Y is the best pairing with no KFC. Way. Much like the Berg. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty clear cut. So, in our, in our definition, the best Chicken and fries little combo is KFC. Yeah. The best burger Absolutely. belongs to McDonald's. Hungry Jacks. It was up there. Yeah. You, 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 did, did, all, well. you did all right. You lost the, the, the nuggies and fries combo. But we know, but the good thing is, what we know now, across the board, if you're having a Hungry Jacks meal, light you're red, in light red. Light red. With Macca's, Big Mac, Nuggies, Chippies. It's got to be Chardonnay. Yeah. Chardonnay works with all of these. It works really well with this, but it doesn't go with the burger, so you just get the light red. Big time. Um, KFC, keep it light, keep it bright. Aromatic, high acid, um, works with the pepper, works with the, the fat. So, Riesling, Fiano, uh, Pinot Gris, um, Vermentino, stuff like that. Fantastic. <laughs> Well done, guys. Oh, so fuck. That's really cool. I got the sweats. I got the yeah, bed sweats. Yeah, turn that back on. That's amazing. Turn <laughs> <laughs> back on, yes. All right. Oh, now we're going to do some more stupid shit in the future, pairing wine to food you never thought about pairing wine to before. See you soon. Oh, I didn't realize the aircon bit was in. Bye. <laughs>